Joining us now is Hua Chu, a speaker with the Single Particle Cryo EM Workshop. Welcome. Tell us a little bit about what we have to look forward to. Okay, a Single Particle Cryo EM is a technique in existence for more than 40 years. In the last few years, it draw a lot of attention by the biological community because the advances that have been made in the field. So in this week's workshop, we will cover the whole workflow of this technology, which include the cryo-specimen preparations, data collections, data processing, and model building. So in the workshop, we will be discussed by the experts about how, what is the best practice for each of these four steps. What's an emerging trend in the field? Okay, the emerging trend of the field is the ability to resolve three-dimensional structures of biological molecules and also molecular complexes, which cannot be crystallized to solve this high-resolution data. But now the current technology allow us to resolve those structures at between two to five angstrom resolution. That is the exciting aspect uh, of the field. Is there a takeaway message for attendees? Yes, I think that attendee will be informed by our experts what are the tricks to get each of these steps right. Because even though it has been demonstrated by more than 100 uh, samples that we can reach to two to five answer resolution, but if any new sample come into hands, there will be new challenges from either uh, specimen preparations or data processing and also the model building. Is there anything else you'd like to add or anything you think people should know? I think this is an exciting field because it reached a resolution equivalent to X-ray crystallography, which has been a common practice in the biophysics research. And for specimen that you cannot crystallize, this is the way to go. Now, even though your specimen can be crystallized, this can be important structural information because our, our structures are not restrained by the crystallization conditions. So as a result of that, we can look at structures uh, at different uh, chemical environment one wish. And secondly, our specimen don't have to be conformational homogeneous. That means we can look at structure, have heterogeneous structures, and our technology using the image processing can sort out uh, the images of different conformations. So that I think that provides us a, a snapshot of different conformations of the molecules of interest. Thank you all for your time. Okay, you're welcome.